Same building, different fireplace. Just gorgeous in here. Nice old Summit Lodge. And we're gonna go out a little different door. The front door right now, which is wrapped up like a present. Let's see what we have. Old school. Very old school. Ski storage like that. Toboggan. Ski the best. Ski the beast, excuse me, of the east, Killington, Vermont. Biggest ski area in New England. 200 trails, six peaks, 33 lifts, established 1958. And we were at the birthday party just the other day. Out the big red door. Oh, it's kind of, kind of comfortable. Uh, close to 40 degrees outside and very windy. Just as we were leaving the mountain yesterday, the wind started gusting about 40 miles an hour up there and the ice is melting underfoot. This is called warm air advection. What is wind? Air moving from high to low pressure, and it's a strong 1039 millibar high pressure system over Virginia this morning where the air is calm, and there's a 968 low pressure system over northern Quebec. So that's a 71 millibar pressure gradient between northeastern Canada and central United States in the northeast here in New England. So hopefully you can hear me over that wind. So we're in the backyard of the Summit Lodge here. And you got the trees, uh, uh, arborvitae all wrapped up for the winter. Not that one though. Can I get out of the wind? Was this a mistake coming in this direction? Maybe it was, but I wanted to show you the sun and the swimming pool, <laughs> which is empty. Anyhow, going skiing today, there could be some uh, lift hold issues due to wind and the temperature warms up today, uh, probably up into the forties, a lot of spots. So now this is not the warm air that's coming at us before the storm. Uh, we're going to have the the pressure gradient is going to relax quickly. Here's the map uh, showing high pressure going off the mid-Atlantic states, and we get fewer isobars, and there's a new cold front coming in tonight, and tomorrow's going to be a cooler day and much less windy. High pressure from Canada is going to bring the temperature back down into the 30s. Nice day for skiing with the wind relaxing. High pressure goes to our east on Sunday. The wind is going to start picking up again now from the east and southeast on Sunday. Still pretty nice out, not a meltdown yet. The problem is that that low pressure system in South Florida, that's the problem. It's gonna come due north and it's gonna bring rich tropical air with it. Tropical air coming into New England the week before Christmas. That's not what we were hoping for, for those who love these snowy scenes. Here it comes, you ready? Hold on. There's the low pressure system. The track has shifted a little bit east since yesterday, but the low pressure system is sub 980 millibars. That's a ton of rain, wind, and warm. Green is rain, yellow is heavy rain with thunderstorms possible. Uh, think of the worst case we were thinking for last Monday, sands wind, we're getting that worst case this Monday where it's all rain. It's the fourth Monday storm in a row, and it's the warmest storm we've had here since before Halloween. So the rivers are gonna rise, snow is gonna melt. I mean, we're not gonna lose the snowpack completely in the elevations, but we sh probably are down here. And so sad to say, rainfall amounts. Uh, the red is over two inches, and the yellow, that's over four, maybe five inches of rain in a few spots. Monday into Tuesday. All right, I'm walking out here to see how deep the natural snow is for you. And you can see very, it's only about uh, five inches. The bottom is very dense. So there's the top from last Monday's stuff. I'm just a messenger. I like snow as much as the rest of you, but some people don't like snow. And we're gonna have green grass for Christmas in a lot of spots. Now, yesterday, the Euro did, uh, not the Euro, the Canadian model did throw us a bone showing snow in the Boston area around Wednesday. So there is something behind this system, an upper level low, not a lot of cold, 
Uh, there may be some more precipitation trying to come in the middle of next week, but I would think it's going to be more wet than white. And then it kind of just turns quiet in those last few days towards Christmas. Maybe a clipper coming through here on the 23rd and the 24th. So it's been a great run. Winter's hardly over. We're just reloading. I mean, something had to give. It's been snowing up here off and on now for about six weeks or so. We will rebuild. As for those backyard ice skating rinks, there'll be plenty of water in them. <laughs> When's the cold air coming at us? No sign of sustained cold coming to any part of the lower 48 for the rest of this year. <laughs> but the new year starts in two weeks. Now we've got a solstice coming in, so the days are gonna start getting longer. All right, I'll leave you with some highlights of a beautiful ski day yesterday, great friends. Somebody said, introduce us to the posse. How can I introduce you to everybody? Uh, Chick Knight started this whole thing. They all went to college uh, together in high school. He actually has a friend from Brockton that he went to first grade with, uh, uh, John. And anyhow, uh, the Davy brothers and uh, uh, Gordo and Ramsey and Brett. And I know I'm gonna leave people out. Larry, TK. Bobby Dodge, Gordo, Pirate. <laughs> uh, sorry if I left you out there, but those are some of the names. And I, I joined the crew late. I'm actually one of the younger people here. All right, I'm the youngest person here, but uh, great, you guys are my role models. So thanks for having me, and I hope you enjoy the highlights. May do a snow cast later, but I don't really have the appetite for it. So we'll see. Anyhow. Either way, there'll be another out the door weather and more tomorrow morning from a different beautiful spot. Automatic doors and the new KBL. I'm gonna go get my Okay, you we'll see up there. I'll take an escalator up inside of the ski lodge. I think this might be one of the only or biggest escalators in Vermont or something like that. Huh. Yeah, I've got I would love to try some flush over flush there. Colors. It's seven. Well, now you got a whole shot in your ski. Might as well. Right? Yeah, yeah right. seven behind no, us. They're, they're defective. Now. Nine a.m. Uh, Day two. <laughs> Boys' weekend to killing. Oh, you know what? Show off. So I've just better off just keeping it, milking it, and watching it die down. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Is it, sure. You know. Oh, you made a career in yeah. Uh, you know, oh. like, lenticularis. Uh, yeah, it worked out. You got some hoarfrost going on this morning. What's hoarfrost, you ask? Well, that is right on the front there. It's a certain kind of rime frost. Right yeah. there. In the automatic door, and there's the elevation, Peak Lodge elevation, 42, 41. <laughs> so 4,000 foot club, all decked out. So the best view is really up here inside the Summit Lodge, Killington Peak, looking down, seeing the expanse of this six mountain resort. And right over there, that's called Sky Peak, I believe, and then there's Bear. Oh. <laughs> and looking off to the south, over towards New York. I'm not sure. I don't... There's a ski area, but I'm not sure which one that is way over there. Anyhow, really fun, beautiful Thursday afternoon. Corona up there. About two o'clock, it's starting to get dark again already. Two o'clock in 
these clouds look more like a almost cold front than a warm front, but we know it's a warm front coming at us tonight, right? Wind's starting to pick up. There's been some pretty funky looking, also almost lenticularis. Look at that one. Kind of shaped like a duck or something like that. And then that's the more typical warm air advection cloud way up there, the mare's tails. So we got a little of everything going on. And uh, always the, the waves. Air going up makes a cloud, air going down makes blue sky, cloud, blue sky, so on and so on. That's your 360 analysis here this afternoon. All right, closing in on three o'clock. The crowd is still kind of together. I'm not sure what's going on back there. Private seating. Superstar chair is done for the day. Serious warm front. Howling wind from the southwest. There it is. That's, believe it or not, even though it's frigid outside, that's called warm air advection as the sun goes down here at Killington on our Thursday. <laughs> Getting gusty from the southwest, but it really was not too windy today. That trail right there is called High Line, and it was in the sun. It was groomed nicely. That was kind of my favorite trail this morning. Alto Cumulus. Lighting up the evening sky. But you can't hear anything I'm saying, right? Uh -huh. 